What I'm looking to do with this project is control a Teensy or an Arduino or whatever with soft power. But I also wanted to make sure I only use one button. So what I've got here uh, is a little Teensy. Is the um, I squared C uh, OLED display a power supply? It's a five volt power supply. Uh, a transistor, a little push button power switch, a soft power module, and then right at the top there's a button itself. I'm running this uh, test setup off uh, 15 volts. The soft power switch has a recommended maximum voltage of 16 volts. Uh, this power supply, I think from memory, will take up to 30 volts uh, and produces a 5 volt output regardless. Uh, the Teensy itself has a built in um, power supply for 3.3 volts which is used to power the OLED display. I'm also using the 3.3 volts to uh, switch this transistor. So it all switches on, just press the button, lights light up and everything, it says it's ready in a little pointless counter. Uh, starts counting and a little LED just uh, starts blinking away. Um, now to switch it off again, press the button and it says shutting down. So it's shut down, it's indirect, it's shut down by software. Uh, the Teensy is doing the shutting down, not the button. Looking at the circuit diagram, the button is up here. This is the uh, push button power switch here. Uh, this is the power supply. Uh, I'm not showing the OLED display. Uh, the Teensy itself also. Uh, that's the voltage in on the Teensy, and there's the 3.3 volts out there. So when the button's pressed, it automatically goes to one. Because the Teensy is off, that side is being ignored. All that, that's being ignored because the Teensy is off. Um, so it turns on, Teensy comes on, and it starts looking at the, the input to see if anything's changed. This system itself, a press button on the on is ignored once it's on. Um, down here, you can see it goes through a diode, which may or may not be needed. I don't think it's probably probably not needed, but I'll put it in now. Uh, I've got a 10k current, resist, current limiting resistor into the NPN transistor, which switches the 3 volts, 3.3 volts, into the Teensy when that's uh, when that's high. And also I've got a um, a bias. 10k resistor here to stop the uh, stop the voltages getting random. The, this transistor is is operating as a um, a voltage shift device, um, so that the 15 volts doesn't get through to the Teensy. It is switching 3.3 volts. Um, the output is easier. Uh, from the Teensy, so the Teensy comes in, there's a bit of logic in the Teensy uh, and the output, again there's a 10k resistor to pull it down uh, for the bias to make sure it stays low uh, and then that goes off sends, sends off high and then that, shut, that automatically shuts down this circuit which in turn shuts down the Teensy a quick look at the software, I won't go into details, I will ignore most of it. Essentially I've set up a couple of finds. I've defined the button on button on pin 11, uh, I've defined the off switch on pin 10, I've set them up here, I've made sure that the uh, off switch is set to low, I'm waiting to see if the button's being pressed in the main loop, and the button here, down here, if it's high, it's being pressed. I'll wait for the button to be released. Because the push button is connected to the on directly soft power module, it needs to be off when I send an off signal. So what I'm doing here is I'm waiting for the button to be released. It then updates the display, waits one second, uh, so it gives it something to display, uh, and then switches itself off. 
Uh, there is a little like a, a little lag as all the circuitry and capacitors empty themselves of energy. So uh, I put in a little delay at the end just to wait for it to do this. Uh, and that is essentially all that's needed. Okay, so I've now added a, a couple of multimeters. Um, this one is showing the, the supply voltage, uh, and this one is showing the uh, amount of current being uh, consumed. So while the device is doing its thing, it's consuming about 18 milliamps. So uh, I'll switch it off. If I change down to microamps, uh, you can see it's just sat in there drawing 1.5 microamps. Uh, I don't know if it's high or low for a type of switch of this type, but presumably if I was running off batteries, uh, it would at some point drain that battery a little bit. Right, um, and that is the magic of uh, a soft power switch. Yeah, thank you.